spinning all kind of ways. They're gonna they're gonna try to make the justification. Of course, that's what it is. That's where that's where it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of uh, they were justified. Blah blah blah. Now, I was actually in the middle of reading posts. You know, different craziness. You, you know, you know, Facebook's gonna be full of just tomfoolery. You're gonna see where people's thoughts lie. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see the people whose mindsets are aligned like yours, and you're gonna see those that you went to school with or work with or um, church with or wherever you at and see some of the, the Tom Foolery uh, comments that come out of them. So I was looking at one of my other partners uh, of, of Facebook friends, Isaac Hayes the Third. He's the son of the yep, the great soul singer Isaac Hayes, yes. Um, but he had a post that he posted uh, and he was telling, uh, he actually called out a lady I think on Instagram and he said, thanks for sharing your ignorant, racist, and sensitive remarks about Alton Sterling. Some of you don't even know. I'll make sure I share them so people that recognize you can hopefully return a favor in person. Pound Alton Sterling. So this lady named Mackenzie, they got her laying on the beach or whatever. She puts, let's see here. Fought police, resisted arrest, was armed. Cops made this apparent. Criminal record a mile long, including aggravated assault, domestic abuse, and check out his record. It's a long one, including registered child sex offender with carnal knowledge of a child. The relevant statute is found, statute is found in Section 182-63 of the Code of Virginia and is labeled carnal knowledge of child between 13 to 15 years of age. Carnal knowledge includes all sexual acts from actual intercourse to acts of oral sex. He's better off dead. Also, he was on probation. He also didn't file in his area for a registered child sex offender. Pound, pound. You can totally see him reaching for the gun, too. All right. I mean. (laughs) Oh, my God. The ignorance comes out. I tell you. So. You know, the lady don't have all the facts. She can't see that shit on that video. She didn't see no gun coming out. I mean, the, the, this new video just surfaced that had more of a view on it. And it still clearly shows that this man didn't have his hand on no damn gun. And he got shot at point blank range. And and, 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 and here we are with another senseless, another senseless, another senseless um, act of the police and you know what this 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 act by the police is nothing new you know what i'm saying the act actions of these police are nothing new this has been going on forever the only thing that's new is now cameras and social media to 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 expose the ass this shit been going on for a long time it's nothing new it's nothing new nothing new at all it's been going on forever it's been going on since the days of us out the field and 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 your enforcer aka your overseer <laughs> you know what i'm saying back in the day moving on into the 20s moving on to the 30s moving on to the 40s it's been the same thing it's the same story it's the same story why the black panthers were even created because they got tired of seeing this brutality they got tired of seeing us being mistreated they got tired of who was quote unquote supposed to be enforcing the laws of the land for some reason the laws of the land only fit certain people and certain individuals the laws didn't portray to us we walk into a store that you deem as white only and we're breaking the law because those are the crooked ass laws that you created you know what I'm saying so we're arrested and beat half to death and sick uh, a dog sicked on us and fire hoses and water hoses and sprayed at us that's the type of history that we come from you think things are better now you think we got a better life now we don't have a better life you know what i'm saying we may have a different life but it ain't a better life you know what i'm saying we have more opportunity but it ain't it, you still have the same thoughts in your head your grand your dad and your grandfather still had them same thoughts in their head of Look at these up to the Negroes. Look at it. Look at look at this. This uh, you can see the politics that's going on. You see a man, a black man in charge of this country. And and now right now we live in the worst ever is what you're thinking, because now you want to make America great again. You want to put the most asinine, uh, idiotic ass man in the president's seat by the name of Trump. And you want to talk about make America great again. 
I mean, are you are you serious? That's why it is time for us to get shit together, man. Get our minds right. Get and 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 buckle down and focus on what what what's the now and what what's our next game plan. You know what I'm saying? Because this is this ain't working. You know what I'm saying? This ain't working. We can't just keep getting gunned down uh, over a senseless ass. Uh, issues. This man was outside selling CDs in front of a store, and some unanimous, some kind of, uh, uh, um, some kind of call, uh, random call comes in to say that he was disturbing uh, um, and brandishing a gun and threatening somebody. I mean, seriously, the store owner cannot corroborate with the story. The, the store owner says this man sits out in front of his store every day, smiling and joking with people and selling his CDs. And yet, you're gonna come up with this this uh, bullshit ass story saying that um saying that he was outside threatening and brandishing uh, his gun and, and and causing an issue. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, really, when does it end? When does it stop? This is it's, it's most it's, it's, it's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard at all. Hey, welcome, my man, that ninja here into the chat room too. That ninja is um real cash ranger. You can find him at realcastradio.com, uh, man. Check 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 out his show, Underground Railroad. And, uh, man, we... <laughs> Let me take a drink of this water, man. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I see you typing TikTok, Ninja. That's right, man. TikTok because we're in a ticking fucking time bomb. That's exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a time bomb. What's, what's going on? It's a, it's a, it's a serious time bomb. Uh, 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 where we're going? We're right now in a pressure cooker. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep. They're gonna just keep on keeping your foot down here on our necks. And at some point, we're gonna get tired of it. We're gonna get tired of. It. We're gonna get tired of of, of 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 being treated like second class citizens in a in a in a country that we help build. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you want to know? You want to know? Uh, why are we tripping on why? Uh, black lives matter and you're gonna come in with your anti all lives matter and i'm still i'm still looking at this damn facebook uh blue lives matter that's the most uh, uh crazy shit i've ever seen in my life man this blue lives matter page is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life and it's really pissing me off the more I, the more i read this shit man you know what I'm saying the more i read this is it's, it's, it's like so disrespectful it's so disrespectful because one thing don't have nothing to do with the other. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you gonna have this crazy ass mem up here, like a uh, hero on one side with the with the black officer who was killed in duty, and then you gonna and then and then you gonna have uh, Alton on the other side and say criminal. Um, so tell me whose life matters? Like really, man? I died committing a criminal act while trying to kill two heroes. Motherfucker, we weren't trying to kill no damn hero. He was he was asking you what the hell was you arresting him for? Or why was you even running up on him? That's what he asked you. That's the question he asked you and he didn't he was not he was not uh answered. He was not given uh, a right uh um uh, of, of, of arrest You know what I'm saying Nobody nobody read him his Miranda rights If he was being arrested Or whatever he was doing criminally You know what I mean But yet This man lost his life This man lost his life The father of some children The brother of um, Of his brothers and sisters and, and the son Of his mother and father You know what I'm saying They showed the They showed the Actual um, Press conference with his mother uh, speaking and then his 15 year old brother on the side of it just lost it you know what I'm saying just he, I mean he just couldn't stop crying because of this situation you know what I'm saying I mean it's absolutely crazy that this is what we are dealing with here man that, that we're dealing with these situations and that, that we're continuously dealing with these situations I mean I, I mean I really can't believe that you know what I'm saying that that that's that's where we are, that's where we are in, in in our lives, and that's that's who we call, that's who we call um, um, our officers, our enforcement of the law. You know what I'm saying? Even even me going even even the media, I go to CNN.com. On the left side, it's got the top news story. <laughs> How come I don't find the story in the top news story? Are you serious? Nah, you trying to downplay the shit. I mean, you got the story on your page, but under top news story, you don't think this is the top shit of the day? 
You gonna you gonna try to drown it with this stupid uh, Trump tweet or whatever it is? Seriously, nobody gives a damn about that Trump tweet. Tweet. I mean, we already know he's an idiot, and you're just gonna keep on. I mean, stories about this dude is you know irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? He's a dumbass, and he's gonna continue to be a dumbass. So anyway, uh. Let me see if anybody up, up, up uh, saying something here in my chat room, man. <laughs> I know Ninja, I got something good to say here. Um, aggression only respects equal and greater aggression. Um, Rasan said the purge come in real life, though. Uh, Ninja said every time a black person gets shot, here comes everything that he's ever done in his past. Give me the record of the murderers in uniform. That, that is correct. That is correct. You you won't you won't say okay. This officer uh, got into fights while he was in school. He had a couple um, racial incidents where he didn't like um, this or that uh, 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 motorist, and he, he was uh, uh, reprehended for uh, some civil cases. You know what I'm saying? There's some stuff that came out. You know what I'm saying? Before this time, this ain't his first his first issue at all. He he got us, he got into some fights um, in regards to some kind of racial issue. He had some kind of predetermined um, uh, racial issues with people that he's arrested. Somebody had some kind of complaint on him because of some police brutality. It's something. It's something more to the stories of both of these officers. You know what I'm saying? But yet you ain't gonna expose that. You are gonna sit here and try to tell me about um, Alton Sterling's uh, past. And um, him being a a, a a violent felon and ex gang member and all that other type of shit. Yeah, well, right at this moment, he wasn't doing none of that. He was an innocent man standing in front of a store that you ran up on, and now you're trying to justify by putting out all this dirt. And you know what? It's not cleaning it up. We still we see right through it. We see right through. We see a man that was shot at point blank range while he was laying on his back with your fucking knee in his chest. That's what we see. That's exactly what we see. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely crazy. Uh, and then uh, Chief said, yeah, the police was bigger than he was. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, Ninja says, black people uh, don't even attack the damn police. And if we did, we wouldn't stand for this shit. I mean, I mean, really. You know what I'm saying? Really. We, we pretty much... We pretty much... Um, have... We've we've been uh, we've 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 actually voiced our concern. We've actually, in some cities, um, had some protests. In some cities, the protest hasn't been good. Hasn't been, you know, what I'm saying it's been yo know, burned up cities and all other type of stuff and looting and all kind of stuff that's going on. But I'm talking about as a whole. All right, so that happened in, in, in this city and that city, but I'm talking about as a whole. At some point in time, we're going to be outraged because we are not being treated with any kind of respect. We're being uh, judged by the color of our skin. As you roll up and you have a preconceived notion that we are the most dangerous person you ever face, so therefore you have, we cannot be reasoned with. We're like, um, um, what's the gorilla? Harambe the gorilla, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how we're being treated here. You just run up and for for the for the for the cities and for the world's protection, we need to take this man out because he's a threat to society. That's exactly how you viewed it, and that's what you thought you were doing when you shot this man. And it was so far from the truth. You can listen to the count, um, the 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 actual um, um, testimony. From the store owner who was right there. Whose store he's in front of. Who knows this man. Who's, who, the man is in front of his store every day. You didn't run up and try to defuse the situation. You ran up and, and did what you did. And now you're trying to clean this shit up. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I mean, there's no, there's, there's no, there's nothing that you can say that is justified this at all. You can come out with your media story. You can come out with your news story and say, look right here. You can see his hand is on the trigger and he's got it pointed up at the policeman. Because I know that shit was doctored and altered because I saw my damn bare eyes, my eyeballs, that this man was not reaching for his gun. He was shot at point blank range and, 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 and it was ridiculous. 
It is another ridiculous incident that occurred. And now you're mad and you're.